So, you want to keep your shrimp colony looking as best as it can? Well, you will need to cull a few shrimp here and there. So let's talk about how we do that. It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Good day everybody and welcome to this video. So, why do we cull shrimp? It's really to make the shrimp in your colony stand out with better colorations and markings. Getting better and better the more you cull and the more high grades breed with high grades, etc, etc. Otherwise, shrimp like your cherry shrimps, your neocaridinas, would eventually revert back to wild type and you would just get a hickledy pickledy mix match of different shrimp there. So, it is best to cull really. Culling shrimp is mostly down to personal preference, however there are a few things to bear in mind when doing so. There are also a couple of ways of doing it and I'll be telling you how I do it and also mentioning the other ways of doing so. A few things to bear in mind. Shrimp will get stronger colorations as they get older, so don't go taking out those shrimplets uh, when you see an undesirable one. I normally wait until they're about one centimeter big I was going to say tall, but they don't grow up, they kind of grow lengthways. When they're about one centimeter, and that generally is when they reach sexual maturity as well. Also, after a shrimp has molted, so it's shedded its exoskeleton, its color can fade a little bit, so just bear that in mind. Now, to which shrimp we should actually take out? The obvious choice would be the ones with weaker markings and less bold colorations, and you'd be right to do so. But wait, before you go and scoop out all those paler shrimp, just bear in mind that males don't often have the vibrant colorations as the females do. So don't go taking them all out, otherwise you won't have any shrimp left to breed anyway, so you'd be uh, stuck in a rut then. Another obvious call would be, unless you've obviously got a pure red line or pure black line tank or one of the pure tanks, would be taking out the shrimp that have different colorations to the ones you have in. So for instance, in my crystal black tank back here, I do have a few crystal reds in there, which have obviously, some of the crystal blacks have had recessive genes and one has popped out. So I'll be taking them out. Silly little shrimp, eh? Oh, genetics. And obviously for the Neocaridina species, uh, you want to be taking out the wild type shrimp. So if you have got some uh, cherry red shrimp and you have some, some wild type in there, just whip them out, otherwise, the they're just gonna take over like the plague. The way that I cull shrimp is simply with a net and also a container with old tank water in. And I basically just scoop out the shrimp I don't want and put them in the container, simple as. Another way of catching shrimp, if you're finding it hard to actually get them, you may have quite a lot of moss in there or a lot of intricate sort of hardscaping which you don't want to knock around too much then you could make a little trap out of a container that's been drilled several times so there's holes in it and just put an algae wafer in stick it in your tank for about half an hour to an hour and then take it out that way you'll catch loads at the same time and it'll be easy to sort out the ones you you want to keep and put them back into your tank and the ones that you don't want just keep them in the trap and um, get rid of them so that brings me on to what do you do with the shrimp you don't want? The ones you've culled? Well personally, I have a cold tank up here which I put them in. So that allows them to pretty much go wild and breed to their heart's content but I just pretty much ignore that tank and let it do its own thing. And then of course you could sell them for a nice little profit to fellow shrimp keepers. Another alternative which I wouldn't really recommend is feeding them to bigger fish. Now, I personally wouldn't really do this because you could easily sell them and make a bit of profit and it's a bit inhumane to do so. So there you have it, how I personally call my shrimp and some other ways that you can do it as well. So if you did find this video informative and it's helped you out and you liked it, then whack that thumbs up. If you have any other ways that you cull your shrimp or any other suggestions, then let us all know in the comments section below. I'd love to know how you cull them. And don't forget to subscribe for more shrimpy and fishy content coming out soon. And I shall see you in another video. See you later. It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Let's keep things shrimple, simply shrimps. Do 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 do. Yeah!